Welcome back, Constant Reader. Today I'm reviewing Stephen King's short story collection, Everything's Eventual. There are 14 stories in this collection, and it's 583 pages. The first story is Autopsy Room 4. In this story, a man finds himself on the autopsy table, unable to tell the medical examiner he is not dead. This story is scary with a funny ending. The second story is the man in the black suit. In this story, a young boy goes fishing and meets the devil. It's a very spooky story and a very fun read. The third story is All That You Love Will Be Carried Away. This story is about a traveling salesman who wants to write a book about bathroom wall poetry he has collected over the years and checks into a motel where he thinks of committing suicide. This story is funny at times and unnerving at times. The, for, the fourth story is The Death of Jack Hamilton. This story is about one of John Dillinger's gang members who is shot and Dillinger and another gang member are trying to nurse him back to hell. A great story. The fifth story is In the Death Room. In, the, in this tale, a man finds himself being interrogated in a room he is sure he will die in. This story is suspenseful and action-packed. The sixth story is The Little Sisters of Eulura. This story follows the gunslinger from the Dark Tower series, where he finds himself in a makeshift hospital run by vampire-like creatures. A real creepy story. The seventh story is Everything's Eventual. In this tale, a young man finds himself in a job where he is using his unique power and finds out it's not so good. A very gripping tale. The eighth story is LT's Theory of Pets. This story is about a married couple who exchange pets as gifts for each other, but once they separate, the pet situation changes. You will enjoy this one. The ninth story is The Road Virus Heads North. This is a story about a writer who stops at a yard sale and buys a painting that ends in a dire situation. This story is terrifying. The tenth story is Lunch at the Gotham Cafe. This story is about a married couple who are divorcing and, uh, and agree to meet for lunch with their lawyers, and the maitre d' goes berserk. A chilling and gory story. The eleventh story is that feeling you can only say what it is in French. This story is about a couple going on their second honeymoon and the wife keeps having deja vu. This one was a great story. The twelfth story is 1408. In this one, a writer of supernatural places wants to stay the night in a ho hotel that's haunted room 1408 and regrets his decision. This one will scare you. The thirteenth story is Riding the Bullet. A young man, away at college, gets a call from his mother, who has had a stroke, and he hitchhikes home to see her, but takes a ride he regrets. A real spooky story. The fourteenth story is Lucky Quarter. A hotel maid receives a tip of one quarter. That is supposed to be Lucky. A great story. I would rate this entire book a 4.5 out of 5. It's a real good read, real fun. And uh, like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel and comment and tell me what you thought of it. And as always, keep reading.